Hey guys, it's Ashton. And it's John. What is up, Sub Sandwiches? We are back again with another reaction video. In today's and it's video, morning. we're going to be reacting to. Go back to Europe. This is from Red Ice TV, and this was a suggestion from the Duchess of Wilburg. Thank you so much for the support. We do appreciate it. I'm still torn on this. Also, a little long. It's a little longer. So thank you so much for the extra support. We appreciate that. You guys can also help us support our channel. Click on the link down below in the description. If you guys donate $10, we'll even let you pick one of the next videos to react to. Just keep it under 10 minutes. Include the video link, title, and your email. All right, guys. With that being said, let's go ahead and get to the video and see what it's all about. Red Ice TV, go back to Europe. Are they fighting? They're always fighting. If you're white and you oppose massive non-European immigration into European countries, then you will inevitably hear an anti-white shout, go back to Europe. The person that shouts this is completely I've ignorant to not only American history, but current European politics. They couldn't even tell you the difference between Sweden and Switzerland, or Austria and Australia. They don't know what the European Commission is or what the EU does, let alone how many languages and countries exist in Europe. And they certainly couldn't tell you the difference in appearance between a Northern European versus a Southern European. But we're racist if you mistake an Ethiopian for a Somali. The people that shout go back to Europe, they don't care that every tribe of people on Earth has fought for territory and every nation was founded in blood, sweat, and tears. They don't really care to know who was in America before so-called Native Americans or that Indians genocided other tribes or the fact that Indians have widespread European admixture. They don't care that many skulls from the earliest American Indians, such as the 9,500-year-old Kennewick man, have a head- You know what, if you think about it, we all just kill ourselves. Um, we all originated from the Middle East as the exact same thing, and then just through geographic placement, we trade well, we mutated pretty much into, you know, different, but we all started the same, so there isn't any of that, it's just, us killing ourselves. A shape that is more similar to that of Eastern Europeans than East Asians. All they care about is making whites a minority so their group can jockey for power and take over what white people built because their people failed to do the same. It's based on envy and hatred. We Europeans built big ships, traveled across the ocean using the stars to guide us, and we came. We saw, we claimed it, and we built it from nothing. There was no infrastructure. <laughs> we cleaned it. <laughs> she said that. We came, we saw, we cleaned it. <laughs> what do you mean by cleaning? <laughs> Talking about Christopher Columbus cleaning up the Middle Americas? <laughs> Clean. He, like, murdered 15,000 people. <laughs> okay. Structure to steal. <laughs> Europeans created a nation others wish their but, I mean, people in fairness, could have made. Everybody in history now millions that. of non-whites want to come live here and enjoy the stolen land and what evil colonialism built. Funny, huh? So it was wrong for whites to settle the land, but now when they come to live on this supposed Indian stolen land, it's morally justified? So she then tell the Chinese like in America to go back to China. The Africans to go back to Africa and the mestizos to go back to Mexico if it's land stolen from native Indians. You know who gets the least hate? Who? Asians. That's true. I never hear anything ever about an Asian <laughs> unless they're making fun of themselves and then everybody's laughing. But like, mm -hmm. what do you even make fun of? They handle everything amazingly. Their food. They do like nails. Like, they keep we bring, their kids in line. They do. Like Zoe, you know, she's... She can be a little stinker butt sometimes. Go to the, like the. It's ran by a Chinese family that do nails. And the way they handle the kid is just like a machine. And she's just the whole time like so confused of what's going on. And she doesn't get a chance to throw a fit or do anything about it. It's just done. It's amazing. You didn't spring from the grass of America, and neither did the Indians. So tell North African Arabs. Well, we all did actually, because the world used to be connected into just one island. God, you're in the so way realistically, we all, you know, we're all from the world. That's to go back to the Arabian Peninsula, or Turks to get out of Asia Minor, or Mexican Spaniards to go back to Asia Spain. Major? But who's the one group that conquered North America and owned it in every way Stop. possible? Europeans. 
Our ancestors toiled the fields, mines, harvested resources, invented technology, worked the factories, and built the infrastructure. They did it. Land doesn't build itself. There is no magical dirt. Europeans were toiling the fields long before the first African slave landed on their shores. There was no USA before Europeans, let alone the concept of legally protected land. There wasn't even a light bulb before us. Anti-whites don't know or care about truth and facts. All they want is to steal what Europeans built. They're petty tyrants who want what they could not build themselves, and they use Marxist lies to so try and guilt Southern white people in. into giving away their stuff. Kind We're not apologizing like for being better at exploration and conquest. Looks silly We're not me. apologizing for our ancestors who were stronger and smarter. This is so anti We're not giving away our countries racism. because you're feel- Yeah, she, this, like, this I'm gross. sorry, but this girl is like, she, I don't know what to say about this because she seems like she is really racist. Like, really racist. Dude, I hate these channels. It's disgusting. They literally just try to, like, start stuff over politics by saying one stop like comment that they know is gonna make it worse and both sides do this it's like quit your shit i don't know sick of it she just she's kind of acting i don't really know how to explain it but... well she just said like the fact that she's saying like, sorry we whites and stuff and well, it's like we're not gonna say sorry because we're europeans are europeans and we're better at what she say sailing and stuff than you well, I mean, if you're going to say, yeah, you're European, but you're in America, might as well go back further. And that's what I'm saying. We're all humans. We all come from the same place. Like, Look at that ornament. Why is it all, like... <laughs> Archie is chewing on it. What the fuck? But the thing is, is that that's wrong. I mean, there are problems when, like, different cultures mix always because they're different. And it takes a while to get through that stuff, but... Anyway, let's... What she just said was bad. Feelings are hurt. The only reason why so many non-whites are able to immigrate to this country and any white country today is through the generosity of Europeans. America remained 90% white until the... Was that racist? What's going on? Like, this chick's like... She is confused. Yeah. They're... I'm sorry, but I'm super confused. I feel like she's totally, like, hating on... She's not directly saying it. She's saying it in an indirect way. Like that's making sense. Yeah, that's making sense. Creation Act like of it. 1965 opened the gates. Previous laws restricted immigration from Asia and Africa and gave preference to Northern and Western Europeans. In other words, to the stock that built the country. Well, if white Americans ever chose to go back to Europe, then they should take everything they built with them, or burn it all down to the ground and destroy it completely before leaving, and then take payment for what's left over. So when they shout, go back to Europe, they understand it's the European homeland. So then Europe should be white, right? They understand it is our homeland. But they're completely unaware of politics beyond my immediate stuff. They don't care to know that Europe is being invaded by millions of non-Europeans. But if they are confronted on that fact, they say, good, whites deserve it because of colonialism and shit while they enjoy the fruits of colonialism. Doesn't matter that Sweden and most other European countries didn't colonize or invade non-whites. Anti-whites see all white peoples the same. They don't know about the history of Estonia or Croatia or any European country. I know country. about Estonia. Well, here's the thing. Millions of white knows. Americans <laughs> would love to return to Europe because gotcha. Europe is an amazing place, the ancient land of our ancestors. But most of Europe won't take them in. Why? Because they're white. These days, only so-called refugees and third world migrants get in. I know white Americans in Europe who were deported even though they were employed and paid taxes. A Muslim terrorist has a better chance of getting citizenship in Europe than a white American. There are two immigration terms, one called jus sanguinis, which is right of blood, and the other jus soli, right of soil. Right of blood means if you can prove ancestry in that country, you can come back. Right of soil means if you have a child on that soil, you're in, no matter your ancestry. Countries like Hungary, Russia, Ireland, and Italy allow you a right of return if you can prove ancestry through blood. Many European countries used to allow right of blood for the white diaspora to come home. 
But nowadays, it sounds kind of like the Nazis, so we shouldn't have that. The countries that are currently taking in millions of non-Europeans like England, Germany, and France do not allow the right of return through blood. No citizenship through ancestry for the white diaspora, with one exception in Germany. If you're Jewish and the Nazis kicked you out, welcome. Also in Spain, only if you're Jewish, since they were actually expelled for helping Muslims invade Spain and it took 800 years to get them out, but welcome. The countries that are currently taking in millions of non-Europeans, like England, Germany, and France, do not allow the right of return through blood. No citizenship through ancestry. The largest ethnic groups that helped build America were German, English, Irish. And not in any order, Dutch, French, Spanish, Scandinavian, Italian, Polish, and others. No, 400,000 Africans who came late in the game did not build America from picking cotton. Surprisingly, the largest ethnic group in America is still German. Germans are hardworking, inventive people. We hear Germany saying how German birth rates are low, so we must so import kind of Africans and they? Arabs who will be good taxpayers. Yeah, a lot of crazy ways Beyond of doing the what fact they did. that populations ebb and flow, and Germans would be better off without millions of welfare-seeking foreigners, if Germany really cared about their people, they'd extend an invitation to German Americans. They'd say, come home, we need you, we want you back. But they don't. They do not offer the right of return. It's easier for an Algerian to walk right into the country, claim refugee, and be welcomed by the government with a check. Yes, it is easier for a non-European to get into Europe than a white American. I live in Sweden part-time, and there's no such thing as right of blood. Even though there are millions of Scandinavians in America that would love to come home, they can't. A Nigerian can come to Sweden, have a child, and become Swedish. But Sven Eriksson in Minnesota? Not a chance. Not unless he can find and marry a woman in Sweden and go through a complicated and invasive immigration process. That's pretty fudged up, Yet though. Sweden, too, pushes the lie that they need non-European immigrants to pay taxes to support pensions. Then welcome back home, the Svens of the world, Sweden. France started the idea of the right of return by blood, but today it's easier for an African to have a baby in France and become French than my good friend in America with. Honestly, I feel like she probably got so much hate from this video. Maybe the comments are even disabled. Should we they look at them? They probably are. Oh, there's comments. Um, sorry guys, um, yeah, like, I feel like I wouldn't want to make a video like this because I, I, I would assume that she would get, like, a ton of hatred and, like, death threats and stuff from a lot of people. Must have controlled comments, because um, there's no way. Yeah, there's no way. You can block a lot of comments. Like, I'm not saying that everything she said is, like, I'm not saying stuff's wrong that she's saying or it's right. I'm not, like picking sides or whatever but the way she s says a lot of stuff just seems like she's really racist i don't know well because i wouldn't be willing to make a video like this some of the stuff she says yeah is pretty um different. questionable yeah but i mean like if that is Chloe. the refugee policy i know i've heard some stuff about that like we get like a ten thousand dollar vehicle loan some other stuff i mean like yeah it is you know i don't think that's right yeah i don't think it is either and, um, like, being, like, like if you wanted to go into, like, their country or something, it's really hard for people to get in there, but it's easier for other people. Like, I just, I don't think that's really right either, but I don't know. Some of this we stuff, don't know if we that, can't what's really, true or not either, to be honest, so. Right, yeah. We can't really get too much into it because we're not, we don't really get too into, like, stuff like this because it's very controversial yeah there you go french ancestry who speaks french honestly the way things are heading in america i would love for white americans to return to their nation their people in europe and leave the melting pot behind i'd love for them to come and fight for europe a part of me would also love for whites to all leave america just to watch it crumble into chaos without all those evil white people. I'd love to see white Americans embrace their ethnic roots and reignite their connection to the ancient land of their ancestors. 
Your ancestors were European before American. These people that you see here are being marketed as the new Europeans. Here's the new German. Yeah, like Here's the new Swede. And it's all a that. lie said by those who want to replace us. They will never be us. It doesn't matter if you're a European mix. Embrace. I just don't like the way that the uh, the media and the marketing places don't just introduce a, a concept like that. They run on it as like their main thing, like right there. They just blew that up proportion. You don't need to have that much of it in there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The majority of what you are or what you connect with. Within the word white is an extraordinary amount of diversity. Europe is already multicultural, rich with history and culture, made up of various European ethnicities with thousands of years of tradition to draw upon. We have our own myths, traditions, and celebrations. Our ancestors built the most beautiful places in the world. So when someone shouts, go back to Europe, I say yes, take a pilgrimage to Europe and walk the land of your ancient really ancestors. Cool. Resurrect them it's within beautiful. you. We come from explorers, conquerors, pioneers, inventors, and the most lethal warriors of all time. Somewhere along the way, Americans have forgotten this. Our culture isn't strip malls, toxic food chains, and American Idol. Our culture isn't a melting pot of rootless people who buy cheap Chinese goods. We are Nordics, Slavs, Celts, Romans, Germanics, and Europe is ours. But so is America, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand. But if white people don't begin asserting themselves and fight to protect and claim what is theirs, there won't be any place for white people to call their home. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Oh. We need to quit thinking of races as like, different things, though. Talk normal. Jesus. Because I'm thinking, okay, you want me to talk faster? You need to stop segregating different groups. We're all just people. Get rid of that. White yeah. and black. You can still be, you know, American descent or African American descent just for, like, obviously health reasons, but. Everybody refers to people by that. You just need to refer to them as people, you know? We all come from the same world. Oh, we're not done? No, no, we still... Got, wow, this is a longer video. Oh, he said that too, though. Red Eyes is independent, listener-supported alt-right media. We are ad and sponsor-free, and we do oh, not monetize our content. The TV they don't monetize it? Mac but you can also connect with... Damn. Yeah, I think it's wrong yeah, they to... Do. They're a verified partner, which means they had to have activated monetization. But they don't have to monetize it, though. Each video made this one, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so... I don't know, I forgot what I was saying, because you did that. Sorry. Whatever. Um, I'm still torn on this. Yeah, it is something, uh... That's different. Obviously, the white culture does come under attack because of a lot of, well... The media likes to run on anything that's trendy, and it gets, like, the uh, underdog fired up. So when it comes to that stuff, they kind of blow things out of proportion. Um, so it, it is kind of a rough to topic, like, as far as, like, white people and whatnot. But we need to look at it as we're all just humans, guys. Quit throwing that into anything. It's gross when you use it for marketing purposes or media mm -hmm. purposes or anything like that. Just to try to run on a trend, you know, it, it's disgusting. Anyway, guys, like, comment, share. And subscribe to the original channel, which was Red Ice TV. If you guys like that video, do you have anything else to say, hon? No. All right, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.